have been But I don't wanna leave this place There's no faith in Brooklyn yeah. What is going on guys? It is your boy Pete Today we're gonna be talking about cameo osmosis and we're going to be looking at the mitochondria and the chloroplast. So first of all, let's start off with the mitochondria. The energy from the electrons in the electron transport chain drive protons outside to the intermembrane space from the mitochondrial matrix. And this creates what's known as a proton gradient. So because we have driven protons outside of the mitochondrial matrix, we have created an area of high concentration of hydrogen ions or protons in the intermembrane space and a relatively low concentration in the mitochondrial matrix. And we know particles diffuse from areas of higher concentration to lower concentration. So naturally these protons want to return back to the mitochondrial matrix. And this is accomplished through a intermembrane protein known as ATP synthase. And so ATP synthase harvests the kinetic energy from the diffusion of hydrogen ions uh, through it to the mitochondrial matrix and generates ATP through oxidative phosphorylation. And what's important to note is that with oxidative phosphorylation, the ATP was created from the energy of the electrons. So now we're gonna take a look at chemiosmosis in chloroplasts. So, with the splitting of water or photolysis with photosystem 2, we get protons accumulate in the lumen of a thylakoid, and the lumen is just the inner part. And so also the electrons from the electron transport train drive protons from the stroma to go inside of the lumen of the thylakoid. And so again, like we saw in the mitochondria, this establishes a proton gradient. There are very high concentrations of hydrogen ions inside of the thylakoid and very low concentrations of hydrogen ions outside in the stroma. And so hydrogen ions want to naturally diffuse back into the stroma. And this is, meat, is accomplished again through ATP synthase. And ATP synthase phosphorylates ADP and generates ATP. And so that is how chemiosmosis works in the chloroplast and mitochondria. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, guys, the more you know, the better you are.